All right, I'm going to work through an example here of a user-defined function in VBA. The fuel efficiency of an 18-wheeler, so the fuel efficiency in miles per gallon, is highly dependent on the speed in mile per hour, as well as the weight of the truck in pounds, um, for obvious reasons. So the efficiency um, is given by this expression here, um, where we have the weight in pounds and we have the speed in miles per hour. And our goal is to create a VBA function called efficiency with arguments of weight and speed that outputs the fuel efficiency of a truck, miles per gallon, um, of uh, the truck of weight W traveling at the speed of S. So I'm over here now in Excel. I've just copied and pasted my formula. Um, so we're going to develop this user-defined function, and then we're going to use it and test it to determine the efficiency in uh, miles per gallon of a truck that weighs 60,000 pounds traveling at 80 miles an hour. So let's go ahead and go into the editor. We're going to insert a module and I'm going to name this function efficiency. It's going to have arguments W and S. And W is going to be dimmed as a double. The speed can be a double. Oops, a double. In the output, we want to be as a double. All right, so let's just go back, Alt F11, and we've got this, this function here, so I'm just going to type it in uh, as an expression. All right, so I've typed this in. Notice I've got the output of the function, just the name of the function, right? I'm not using a message box. You never use message boxes in functions. So I've got efficiency equals all that stuff. That was in our equation. All right, so that should work. Now let's um, go ahead and go back here, and we can type that in. So efficiency is the name of our function, and we want to do the we want to calculate the efficiency at a with a truck weight of sixty thousand pounds and a speed at eighty miles an hour. So I just put those two arguments in, and I press Enter. And this means, then, trucks don't get that uh, good of gas mileage, but the mile, miles per gallon of that truck is going to be uh, 4.95, and I'm just going to decrease decimal a little bit. We could also look at the effect of you know, increasing the weight. Obviously, you should decrease that if we drive a lot slower we have a lot less wind resistance, which goes as the uh, it's an, it's exponential of the speed, so we get better gas mileage. All right, hope that uh, gives you kind of a an idea of how we can use user defined functions to create custom made functions in Excel.